Hey, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, F-R-E, dollar sign H Fresh at the Flyboy Way. That's T-H-E-F-L-Y-B-O-Y-W-A-Y. <laughs> Don't ask why, just check out the channel. And yes, yes, we have returned. As you guys know, um, I'm, I'm doing this for the people that's already here. Shout out to the six people already here and the people that's coming in the future. But as you already know, we are back doing money talk Mondays and better late than never. You know, I've been on, uh, for those that are just coming back to money talk Mondays, I've been on uh, suspension because of the live video for about 90 days. So now we're back and we're getting into it. And as you've seen the title, why I stopped saving money, I'm going to tell you guys why from the start. Living in the United States, the government and the wealthy people are never going to allow the stock market to fail at all. If that wasn't proven to you in the past when the housing market failed, then it had to be proven to you during this virus, during this pandemic. So let me shout out some people who came in earlier already. Shout out to Dog Nuts. Shout out to Global Papers, Brazil Da, Investor Da. And um, shout out to everybody else here. So check this out. Oh, yeah, stop racing. Um, I literally used to believe that. I know, I know a lot of a lot of people. When you're not accustomed to getting money, because like I said, I didn't come from a wealthy family. I didn't come from a big background where we always had money. So I when I when I finally accumulated money, I I just love seeing it in my account. Now I don't know if anybody else feels this way, but I feel as though as a black man, they, we most of us do. I love seeing it in my account. I used to like looking and seeing my account say $1,000, $5,000, $10,000, $20,000, just sitting in my account. I used to just love looking at it. But today, that is no more. I have only an emergency fund in my account. And the reason why is because I'm going to show you, and everyone shows numbers, but unless you're talking to someone who actually can express it to you, it's, it's a little bit more difficult. I'm going to show you how bad saving is today and why the government doesn't want you to save any money. Any money. You should put, and me, I feel as though you have to have enough for your emergency account. But let me bring up, let me share the screen for you guys. Shout out to the 21 people already in the room. Shout out to, uh, oh, great. Shout out to Chris. What's going on, y'all? All right. So let me show you guys. Let's share the screen. All right. So look, All right, before I get to that part, let me get to the other ones. The average saving rate interest on the average interest that you make on a normal savings account. So let's say you have a thousand dollars in your account, right? Let's do the math on the thing on the computer. I'm not the fastest with math anymore, but if you have a thousand dollars in your savings account, right? Times 0 0.04, you will make 40, 40 cents a year, something like, or 40, 40 cents a month, something like that. It's not worth it. Right? So check this out. Let's say you put it in a CD. You would make 18%, right? In the CD. But you know, you would pay money for you make 18 cents, my fault, for every hundred. And then in the stock market, you will make 10% of whatever you put in. Now, for me, what I realize is this with Bitcoin, with crypto, with even Home Depot and all the other stocks. Like I'm gonna tell you what stocks I'm investing in right now, fellas. Ladies, two of you here. I'm gonna tell you guys what um with stocks I'm investing in right now. I'm going to try to show you guys on the camera here. So let me make this a little bit bigger. Just to show you that I'm not capping. <laughs> All right. So look, these are the stocks on my, on my uh, cash app. JP Morgan Chase, Nike, Facebook, Square. Now, Square is cash app also. Google is Alphabet, JetBlue, Tesla, Apple, and Amazon. Now, the reason why I um, invest in this is because I want to a wide range, a variety of diverse stocks and bonds because sometimes some go up and some go down. Like, I guess I'm gonna try to show you guys again. Right now, for those that don't know, today was a very red day. When I say red day, I mean it was a day where everybody was selling off today. So you're gonna see a lot of my stocks down right now. But the reason why they're not all down is because I diversify. So you'll see JP and Morgan, JP Morgan and Chase, that's up $55. Home Depot, that's up $50. Nike is up $9. Now, the rest of them, Facebook down $2, Square down $2, uh, App, Alphabet, Google down $16, down $41, down $46, down $59, down $64. It was a very bad day today. I started off this day in the positive, and it was cool. But when you think about this, 
if I'm going to save for a year and I leave it in a savings account, the odds that I might make what? Let's say I leave, let's say I'm I'm help, let's say I'm investing twenty thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars for the year, and I have different ways. If I leave it in my savings account, hold up, let me Google it. How much interest would twenty thousand dollars make in the average savings account? Okay. So this is times that 20, 20,000 times 0. 0.04. I got to do something. I'm doing the math on here, bro. So I didn't prepare for this one. So zero, zero, zero times 0. 0.04. So I basically would make like $8. I mean, $80. If I put $20 in my account, I would basically make $80 for the year. If I never touched it, if I never touched it, either 80 or 800, actually, 800. Let's say I make $800 a year if I never touched it, right? If I never touched my account at all, I would make 80, I mean, $800 off of $20,000 in account. If I put it in a, in, um, in a stock market, just with any random group of stocks, any random group of stocks, I would make about $2,000. If it's just just guessing it, and here's the thing I wanted to say. Let me see. Oh, there's a lot of people coming in here. Uh, it's facts. Bless up. What's going on, Crypto Spirit? What's good, T? What's good, man? Welcome back, Bawana. What's going on? Okay, shout people out. Yes, and we're not even we we haven't even reached on inflation yet. We were just talking about just the percentage of interest you get back. This this is why savings doesn't even make sense no more. Now, me personally. I have to have an emergency fund because I do have real estate. Therefore, I have to have an emergency fund. But if I didn't have real, real estate, I would not even have an emergency fund right now. Because if you add the inflation minus the interest, you're losing a lot of money. Because inflation, for those that don't know, means that as the price of things around you go up, the worth of, the worth and value of a dollar goes down. So whereas $100 yesterday, it's not going to be the same thing next month or next year. And it it just to me no longer makes sense to have a savings account. I mean, not have a, to put money in your savings account. So not only did I empty out my savings account minus uh minus the emer uh, minus the emergency fund uh, just in case because of real estate, but I also took money off of my my HELOC, my home equity loan, because my home equity loan was only paying was only going to cost me six percent. Now here's the thing: the average, like I said, the average uh investment on returning investment on the stock market per year even if you just pick random stocks that are good on um, random stocks is 10 percent, right so let's say it's costing me six percent a year to borrow twenty thousand dollars right i'm going to not only be able to pay that six percent which i'm only paying interest only but also make another four percent off on of money just because i didn't let it sit in the savings account or let it sit in my heloc so for no for just for me like i said this is not financial advice I'm just giving you guys my learning experience as I started, because as you guys know, the last episode, I was just basically um, starting my whole investment journey. I've always invested in stocks through my 401k, but and I, I bought some stocks before, but this is the first time I actually really got into it. Now, I want this to be a thing of us talking back and forth, so I'm going to go through your comments. XRP, life, get into crypto. Okay, now, crypto, I am into crypto. However... Right now, I'm easing into crypto because I don't feel too comfortable with it. So as right now, I have Bitcoin and I have um and I have uh Ethereum. Now here's the thing about Ethereum. Ethereum, even though it's not a currency, I think it's like from what I'm from my understanding, you know what I'm saying? It is what you use in the crypto in the crypto field and what banking can use to make transactions go faster. So Ethereum was something I'm I'm highly invested in, and Bitcoin is also. I I sold some to pay some bills off of Bitcoin, but I do want to hit Bitcoin again. It's at about fifty five thousand now. If it gets down to fifty thousand, I'm going to really put some money in the Bitcoin back again. Um, well, when it gets down to that, because it's going to go up to hundred, but I think it's going to go down again first. Nike is cool. Yes. See, I wanted to make my um investment thing some like reopening stocks. When they say reopening stocks, I mean as much as the economy starts to open, people start to buy stuff 
And I do believe there's going to be another stimulus check. So when the stimulus checks comes, I believe people are going to start buying more Nike. People are going to want to go outside. They're going to want to get back in shape because everybody's been in the house. And what's the best thing to buy when people are trying to get go outside and get in shape? Athletic gear, Nike. Um, Any mutual funds? No, I didn't invest in any mutual funds. Here's why I didn't want to invest in any mutual funds or ETFs, me personally, because I watch CNBC every day. I watch Meet, uh, Meet Kevin. I watch Graham Stephan. I watch different people who have different uh, – uh, Kathy Woods, different aspects on it. It doesn't make sense for me to give somebody money to do the exact same thing I could do on my cash app, just to, to diversify where I invest. Like I said, right now, I'm savings is done. I'm done with savings. I got an emergency fund for my houses and everything else goes into the stock market because right now I'm not buying another house because the houses are so expensive. Yes, I am looking for that property in Mexico, but in the meantime, I'd rather gain interest on my money at a faster rate. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm not, I'm not into mutual funds because of that reason. Um, yeah, today was rough, Chris, but we you don't really lose anything in stock in the stock market. For those that just came in, I I'll show again because we have 51 people in the room, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm investing in, and and I, I'll probably go through reasons why I'm investing in it. Um, but let's go again. Okay, so once again, I'm investing in J.P. Morgan and Chase because I believe that you got to be investing in at least one bank. Oh, I'm just trying to get you guys to see it. I believe you got to be at least investing in one bank stock. And the one bank stock I chose is JP Morgan and Chase. Secondly, I um I'm investing in Home Depot because Home Depot, if the house prices are high, you got to believe that everybody's going to be spending a lot of money at Home Depot and Lowe's. Now, I feel as though both of them can go up the highest, but like like JP and Morgan and Chase, I picked the highest one that I feel is the highest in that category. And for me, that was um, Home Depot. The next one, I wanted to get a little bit into retail, but I didn't want to get too far into retail. And the one uh, brand that really sticks sticks for my whole life going through was Nike. Also, Facebook. Why? Because everyone has Facebook on their phone. And, oh, man, hold up. Hold up. Hold up a second. Everyone has Facebook. Everyone has Facebook on their phone. So Facebook was a major uh, decision to, and um, why I invested in that square. Square is something I just got into. Like I um I didn't really uh know about it that much, but once I realized Cash App was on Square and what they're doing, I figured though, yeah, that, that might be the, you gotta get into Google. Like, even though a lot of people were saying don't invest in the tech stocks like Fang, Apple, Facebook, um, uh, Alphabet, which is Google and stuff like that, I feel as though if you look at the 10 year period, and my whole thing is I plan on leaving all this money in here. For at least five years, I, you know, I already got real estate. That's my cash flow. But I plan on leaving this money and keep putting more money in for the next five years, so that at least by the end of the five years, I can buy that place in Mexico. But I believe in five years, just like last five years and the five years before, all of these stocks are definitely going to be higher. JetBlue, I wanted to get a piece of airlines because the airlines are very big, and I know I got to catch up to your comments. I'm going to catch up soon, but um, I feel as though the airlines were so low and so good to buy that. They're going to start doing and JetBlue just started flying into Miami before it went to Fort Lauderdale and it just started flying into Miami. So um, now I feel as though if out of all the airlines, JetBlue is the is the one to ride. Tesla, I feel as though that's the wave of the future. So that's just that. Apple, not going to fail you. And Amazon, not going to fail you. They might be down right now, the most right now, temporarily, because people know that they go to, they can take cash out of that at any time. But eventually, Apple and Amazon are going to be back up. And that's that's how I'm invested. I, I'm sharing the guys with you guys because I like to diversify. Now, I could have went to the ETF and the ETF would have did something like this, or or I could have went to a mutual fund, they would have did something just similar like this, but it wouldn't have picked the exact stocks I wanted. And on top of that, I would have had to pay a fee for them to invest my money. It just doesn't make no sense. All right, let me get to your comments. All right, let's go. Today. Yeah, yeah, Chris, don't worry. It's not gonna be there for that long, man. It's not gonna be there for that long. Fiat is dead, money inflation. I don't know. I think the U.S. dollar is going to always be around because the United States is just so powerful. See, um, the United States built uh, – it's like this. The United States started the race ahead because they had, they had slavery. Slavery pushed the economy up so far because most other countries, most other developed countries didn't have free labor. And when you had that much free labor, you're able to jump ahead that far. Now – Granted, it is bad. I don't. I don't believe that. I believe there was another way, but it's still. It's still. You tissue. You know what to do. Um. But 
regardless, that pushed the economy up. And I feel as though no one's going to ever be able to truly catch up because it's that it's that much far ahead. Um, let's see. 20k on 40 cent is eight dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to say. Global payment thanks. Eight dollars a year, right? No, eight dollars a month. I think it's eight dollars a month. Yeah, eight dollars a month. So eight dollars a month times twelve months, uh, sixty, sixty-four. I mean, I mean, 80, 86, 86, uh, 96 dollars a year. Xavier, go in your room. It's bedtime, man. My son. But ninety-six dollars a year. So you basically make ninety-six dollars, almost a hundred dollars a year off of twenty thousand. It's not worth it, man. Um, the Capricorn way. What's going on, man? We got fifty-six people in the room. I hope you hit the like button, man. Mutual funds, dividend yielding stocks, real estate is where it's at. Now, here's the whole thing. One thing I will say is this. The reason why I'm able to invest this money and and, and keep just putting the money in is because I don't pay rent. I don't pay rent because I got into real estate. It is going to be very difficult right now to get into real estate. But at this point, I believe as though as long as you can get into something aside from a condo, because a condo is not going to really help you that much. But as long as you can get into something that basically, if it doesn't cash flow, at least allows you to live in a basement for free while the other while the other um money is paid for. You need to get into that immediately before you before you do something like this, investing in stocks. The reason why is because as long as you have a rent bill, it's going to be difficult for you to just put everything you you want, everything you make, or seventy five percent of what you make into your stocks and bonds and mutual funds, um, or dividends. Uh, you need to say you're not a financial advisor. I did in the beginning. I said this is this is this uh this is not financial advice. I'm just a regular guy on YouTube, man. Um, and basically, I'm just talking about what I did. I'm not telling people what to do. I'm, what I did. Uh, eight dollars. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Global Paper for correcting that, man. Because I, I knew it was too good to be true. But yeah, so basically, you make eight dollars off eight dollars a month off of twenty thousand dollars versus oh, this is a hundred dollars a year versus. Two thousand dollars a year. It's, it's simple math. It's, it just doesn't even make sense. It just doesn't even make sense anymore. And that's, like I said, that's why I stopped saving money, man. I literally only have enough for emergencies for for the real estate, and then everything else goes into stocks until I get enough to pay for this place in, in, in Mexico. I save money to put it somewhere else. No, no, no. Like I said, I don't listen. When I say I don't save money, I mean the money doesn't touch my savings account. It goes straight from my check to my checking account, straight from my checking account to to the stocks. No longer. Like I've changed it because it just doesn't make sense. Because here's the thing. The government is never going to let the stock market fail. The people who the people who weren't hurting in this in this uh pandemic were the people who had investments. You had real estate, you had stocks, you had um uh, uh, you know, you just you just don't hurt. You just don't hurt. And and if they keep showing you how they're gonna do something over and over again, you gotta believe them, man. It's like this: no stocks that's still around now were worth less at any time in the future more than more than ten years. So basically, this generation of stocks that was still around last generation is worth more. Nothing. It might drop, but it always goes up higher in a ten year period. So it just doesn't even make sense. Short term emergency fund, long term emergency fund too. I don't even do long term emergency fund, man. I'm gonna be honest with you, JM. I know some people say you should have a six month. No, to me, no, none of that even makes sense to me because because of the fact that stocks are so liquid. And even though if you diversify, even though some stocks are being are going to be bad, you don't want to sell a bad stock. Just like I just showed you guys with my stocks, Home Depot was up high. Um, what is the other one that was up high? Dang. Home Depot was up high. Um, I don't even know. Let me see. Hold up. I just showed you all my stocks. Home Depot was up high and JP Morgan was up high. If I needed to sell something, I would sell the ones that are in the positive. And I would just say, hey, I took the took the positive and I and I and I did it for that. But a long-term emergency fund, and that means you should sit in the money in the bank, it's not worth it, man. Stocks are too liquid. Stocks are way too, especially with the cash app with the square and the cash app now, where I can literally sell a stock right now. Well, I can't sell it right now because the stock market is closed. But I can, sell, I can sell crypto right now. And that's another reason why I think crypto is going to be bigger in the future. I can sell crypto right now. I can buy crypto right now and have money in my pocket within two minutes on Cash App. You got to know that's the wave of the future. People from people are moving from 
stocks to crypto because of the fluidness of crypto. The stock market closes at four o'clock. After four o'clock, you got to wait to 930 in the morning to make any moves. But crypto is open all night. And speaking of crypto, let me show you 64 people in the room. I hope you hit the like button. I'm going to keep going. But um, th thanks, Ro. Thanks, Ro. Diddy. Uh, thanks. I appreciate you guys correcting me, man. This I, I didn't want to sound too bad on here, man. I appreciate it. So it's $8, $8 a month, right? $8 a month. I hope I'm right. I'm gonna, let, me, let me scroll through here before I show you my crypto investment. Um. A better but great option would be high interest money market account. No, um, but I, uh, Betsy, I don't know. I had, um, I have a money market account with Santander, and I don't know if it's a high interest, but it to me it wasn't worth it because I, I, I'm making so much more money in my stock. She want I don't even talk about crypto because I think crypto, the the rush of crypto right now might be a fluke because I've made more money in crypto in two months than I got off of. My having that money in my account, having half of the money that I put in crypto in my account in like four years. Four years, man. Let me see. Um, let me go through it. So borrow 100 k Yes, if I could, if I could right now, my debt to income ratio is too high. I have the equity of all in my in my properties. I have equity of over a hundred thousand dollars in each one of my properties. Over like maybe one of them might have over two hundred thousand dollars in my properties, but because of my debt to income ratio. Because I, I write a lot of stuff off in taxes, I can't borrow it. But if I could, definitely would. Definitely would. And yep, put that money straight to work. 100 grand. What's going on, C Spill? Let me shout out everybody. I know I'm, I'm behind. Bro, checks XR, XRP. Something. No, uh, crypto. You're not the first person to um to mention XRP. I've heard about it, but I'm not a real gambler yet. And I don't, I'm going to look into it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look into it. That's what I'm going to say. Can't promise I'm going to invest, but I'm going to look into it. Stay away from meme stocks. But see, I agree with you, O'Great, but meme stocks are what made me interested in getting to know more information. Because honestly, when I before my um suspension on YouTube, when I went live and we had a discussion about um GameStop, if it wasn't for GameStop, I wouldn't be investing in all the stuff. I wouldn't never have thought, I would have never thought, like, damn, why am I wasting my money on savings? Why am I putting all my money in savings when I can go over here? And get 10%, 10% in a year. It just doesn't make sense. And GameStop was the one that made me start looking at that. So I can't I can't knock the meme stocks that much. What's going on, player? I just got into Bitcoin um Bitcoin and crypto two weeks ago. That's dope. That's dope, man. Like um uh Bitcoin been flat, I think, for the last two, three weeks, but um it's still gonna go up. I still feel as though maybe not in a year, but I feel as though Bitcoin will hit a hundred thousand, and I'm really, really um Really, really believe that Ethereum will get to 25, 25,000, if not to where Bitcoin is at. I think Ethereum, Ethereum will at least get to 25,000. Right now, it's only at 4,000, but I think it'll get to 25,000, which means that if you invest in, uh, in Ethereum right now, there's a chance you may, what, 5x? You may 5x your money. You may 5x your money that you invest right now. So I, I put a nice little chunk in Ethereum. And I heard a couple other investors after that say the same thing. Um, what brokerage account should I rock with? Robinhood is a no-go. Yeah, Robinhood is a no-go. It depends what you feel comfortable with. Like for me, I love Cash App because I get Cash App for my payments from rent. I get Cash App when people send me money that they owe. But I like Cash App. And Square is, is, is I mean, Cash App is under Square. However, I, Weeble, I heard, is good if you like um, day trading. If you like day trading or stuff like that, Weeble is good. I don't know about Robinhood, but I'm also in this thing called Coinbase. And since we're talking about it now, let me show you guys um my Coinbase account. Because I just, like I said, I, I really did an Ethereum thing. And um I really wanted to take my Bitcoin to Coinbase, but I already started with Cash App. And so it's, it's not a thing. Now, right now, Ethereum is down. Like I said, today was a rough day for everybody. Anybody, I always go by the month. I always go by the month. Never go by the day. I never go by the hour. I go by the month to see what the investor is. Now, this is Ethereum right here. In one month, Ethereum has risen um, 80%. 80% in a month. And it's at 3824 per Ethereum. If that goes to 25, you're talking about not even five, but six times whatever amount of money you put in. So that's exactly why I put money into Ethereum right now. And we're going to see if, if it takes two years, who cares? 
If it take three years, who cares? If it take five years, who cares? Five times five times your money is not what you're gonna get in almost a lifetime with a um with a uh it's I think it's somebody said it will take 72 years in the average savings account to double your money. So um so I would say, like I said, it depends what you invest in. If you're gonna invest in crypto um L um LL, I would say definitely use Coinbase. I like Cash App, you know what I mean, or Weeboo. Um, why not invest in Coinbase? Okay, I didn't like how Coinbase opened up and then went straight down. So I I don't know if I I feel like Cash App I invest in. I invest in Square because Cash App is under it. Coinbase I'm not too into yet because I don't think enough people are in crypto yet, and I don't I don't I just don't right now I don't I don't I don't know. I want to see how it moves first. Um, you should start going into dividend producing stocks uh, if you have at least five figures. Well, yes, I am in some dividend stocks. Home Depot is a dividend stock. Uh, JP Morgan is a dividend stock. Um, the highest stock, the highest thing that you're going to get with dividends is REITs, which is real estate trusts. But I wouldn't invest in a REIT right now because we don't know what's going to happen to all the people that are that owe back rent. And for those that don't know. Real estate trusts are, are when you invest in a company that um that like rents out big condominiums and sometimes office buildings and sometimes malls. And right now, all those are getting hit. So I, even though they have a higher dividend, I wouldn't invest in none of them. But I, I guess I do have some dividend things. But I don't have five figures in each of the dividend ones because I'm not. I don't. I guess I'm building my wealth. Um, let's see. Bank flips your money in forex when you save in the banks. Yeah, listen, I don't know about Forex. I know people do it. I know there's a lot of people out there that do it. But the banks definitely, definitely uh, know how to flip your money. Invest in silver. Silver, for me, doesn't move um, fast enough. Like silver, what it's worth now, and gold or gold either. I think everyone that's, not everyone, but a lot of people that were in silver and gold before are now moving to crypto because of the volatility. See, the volatility is good when you're, when you're watching it and you want to invest in stuff. But gold... It, it it only beats out inflation. Cryptos is the wave of the future. Um, how far? I'm way far down, man. I'm far, y'all. I know I'm way back. Um, okay. But one of my friends from Cali, um, he told me about Ethereum Classic. He broke down to me. I right, for those that don't know, you have Ethereum, which is which is a uh, symbol E T H, and you have Ethereum Classic, which is symbol E T C. Now, I don't know the difference of them, but there is a difference. And usually ETC trends with ETH, which Ethereum Classic trends with Ethereum. However, if I'm going to do one, I don't know if I'm going to do both. Look into cruise ship stocks. They will grow. I don't know if they will grow. See, I watch a lot of CNBC and CNN and Yahoo Finance. And I do believe that the president said, no, the president? Some either the president or the government said, or somebody said that cruise ships will not be allowed to sell, even if they require a vaccination on on the ship. They will not be able to sell. So I'm I would hold off on cruise ships until you get more clarification on what is going to be able to happen to cruise ships. Because yes, airlines are going to go higher too. Cruise ships are going to go higher too. But how long do you think that's going to take for them to get back to normal? And, and that's that's where I'm at. Said Jones, what's going on, bro? Um, listen, man, I appreciate you for checking in and and linking up, and and I appreciate you for supporting, man. Like, I just try to, I'm just trying to show people there's another way. I'm not trying to say my way is the best way. I'm not trying to say that my way is a better way. I'm just saying I grew up in an environment where I was only told I could be a rapper, a a, a entertainer, a basketball, I mean, a sports player, or a drug dealer. That's the only thing I knew when I grew up in North New Jersey. So for me to go out there and, and everybody says, oh, they only do this because that's all we had. But it's not all we had. There's other ways you just didn't know. So when I do this, I don't ask for money. I don't ask for uh, notoriety. I just want to give other people away. So I appreciate anybody's support. Um, What's going on, Corey Investor? Uh, let me find out you're talking about crypto, man. Listen, man. <clears throat> I am officially on. I've been officially on the crypto wave. Since Bitcoin was at thirty eight thousand, I've been on a crypto wave since Bitcoin was at thirty eight thousand. Before Elon said something about it, um, the, I didn't do the Doge, the Dogecoin thing because 
I need some kind of backing. If I have I have a low risk tolerance, or not low, but a medium risk tolerance. So I didn't do the Dogecoin because I needed something to back it. And then when Elon said on um Saturday Night Live uh that Dogecoin is a hustle, in my head, I'm like, oh nah, that's gonna be the that's gonna be the downfall of Dogecoin for me. That's that can that can be a point where I could probably never invest in it. I don't like to say never, but it's rare that I would invest in it after you. The person who's supposed to be the spokesman of of Dogecoin tells us it's a hustle. No, no, I, I've been hustled too many times coming through life. Um, let's see. The moving digital currency. Uh, they're moving digital commission to digital currency. Checking newspaper money. Yeah, I, you know, like I say, I want I want to be one of the people that say I started. Now I don't have to be one of the people like that was at Dogecoin that was like, um, you know what? I've been in Dogecoin since it wasn't nothing, and now I'm a millionaire. I don't even have to be a, a millionaire through that. Just let me let me get a couple thousand off of it. Let me invest five thousand into um uh, <laughs> Ethereum, and and two years later, let it be worth twenty five thousand, where I now made twenty thousand dollars off of a solid investment. That I'm good with that. I'm cool with that. I could pay one thing off. I could do this. I'm cool with that. I'm not trying to be at the top, so I'm not going to take the higher risk because more risk, more reward. Um, listen, man, we all sharing. We're communicating back and forth, so. Robert Starr, don't think that I know all everything. I don't know everything. I'm learning. I admit that I'm learning this stuff as I go. But we got people here like Crypto Spirits. We got people in here like uh uh Brazil or die. Uh we got a we got a bunch of people here that know this stuff already, man. Like and and you know, it's a Corey the investor, you know what I mean? So it's like we got a bunch of people in here that's already that know this stuff, man. Um that you can communicate with them in the chat room. They'll help they'll help you talk to it too. Reads are great for real estate. Yes, like I said, Bawana, but but for me right now, based on how much people owe, like in like big condominiums and big uh town sections where they play that in in, in the hotels and and uh malls and all of all of office buildings, I don't think I want to invest in that because that's gonna be nasty. I was in Mexico. Oh, dope, dope, man. I'm gonna get back internationally this year. I'm going to internationally at least once this year. But right now, with this opportunity with you know, with the with the with the pandemic's causes opportunity to invest and do all this stuff. I'm really focused on the financial part because that's going to help me take to the next level. I just purchased my property in South South. Uh, for those that, that have been watching me for a while, I just pur just purchased my property on Waterfront in South Beach, Miami, in October. So that's only like five months ago. So I'm not really in a rush to get a, to get that property in Mexico, but I want to build towards it. So I've been doing a lot about finance. Um, and I haven't I haven't been traveling internationally. Bro, it's another way to get money. People don't know too much about. You can make ten percent daily interest investing on Bitcoin, guaranteed game changer. Wait, did I read that right? Bro, it's another way to get money that people don't know too much about. Oh, don't know too much about. You can make ten percent daily interest on Bitcoin, guaranteed game changer. Oh, I, I, I don't know that much, that much about that either. Ad, what's going on, man? Hey, crypto is at the highest appreciating asset. Are we at thirty minutes in? Like, Crypto is the highest appreciated asset. Yes, yes, that's what they said. I I just watched, like I said, on CNBC, CNBC. They just said crypto is the highest investment um thing in in ever. I think ever, and it's this fast ever, or at least this year. Um, we got a chat through email. I would like to give you some. Um, well, I don't really uh communicate through email because I have a lot of like a lot of business stuff going through my email. But if you hit me on, you know, you hit me on Instagram. We're gonna we're gonna kick it back and forth for Instagram. I, I always do that. You know what I mean, I am able to uh. I'm able to hit the uh the chat button on IG too. So it, it's all good. Um here you go. Global Pippa says, Why do you want to buy a property in Mexico? What is the benefit of Mexico? I love Cancun and the Carmen. Just curious. Okay, the reason why I want to buy a property in Mexico is because I like to diversify my portfolio. I also wanted to have a place internationally. Um, and that that's that's a personal thing. I don't feel as though I have to invest, but I definitely want it, I would like it to be like a place I can Airbnb. But it's, it's not a need for me. What uh, what a need for me is to have a place outside of the United States. That's my desire. If I don't like it, after a while I can sell it. If I but but in, for me, I wanted a place internationally. I already have two income producing properties in New Jersey. I already have a condo in Miami I can go to whenever I want and film content and and just lounge and it's it's you know it's done. Eventually, my two my two places my two properties in. New Jersey will pay off my property in Miami and and pay off themselves. So eventually, that's that's 
all cash out and I live rent free. So my whole thing is right now, while I can do everything, let me get everything set up so that when I retire in seven, seven to eight years, because like I said, I'm 36 years old. Most people retire at like 65. I plan on retiring at latest at 50, I mean, 45. And the reason why I'm retiring at 45 instead of 43 is because my son is still being in school. So I definitely want a place to go that's paid off in Mexico, something that I own flat out with that doesn't have, for those that don't know, Mexico, you don't pay any high taxes per year. You pay 500 if you, um, you pay 500 for the Fisa Camiso, which you need if you're going to own a place next to the, the coastal area or um, the borders. And you pay 100, uh, one, 100 a year for something else. And then you, whatever your, uh, whatever your condo association fee is. So at max, you may pay $2,000 a year versus taxing in states. I pay 9000 a year just for this one place alone, let alone my other place in West Orange, let alone, you know, my property tax I pay in Florida for the place in Florida. So Mexico gives me that freedom to be able to go there and say, hey, after everything is paid off in the states, I'm still paying state tax and stuff like that. But that but the rental property, rental income is paying that off. And I'm in Mexico for free. Um, and I got, and just in case if all else fails, if America goes down the gutter, if the racial wars happen, if the rich starts fighting the poor, I could just walk over to Mexico and say, hey, I'm a property owner here. I wanted to do that in Colombia, but you guys see what Colombia is going through right now. Um, yes, same thing, AD. Same thing, man. Jay Brass, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, Money Talk Mondays, we back, man. We back. I appreciate everybody coming in the room. We got 90 people in the room. Definitely here to it. I'm definitely going to look into XRP. Maybe even after this thing right here, I'm going to look into XRP because uh, I do want to, I, I don't mind gambling a little bit with it. Like maybe putting like $500 in and seeing how it works after a couple months. But maybe. I'm going to look at it. Let me look at it. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I've even made a video on board into crypto with crypto wallets and security. Check my page. All right. Well, uh, hey, Corey, send me that link. Send me that link, Corey, on um, send me that link on my Instagram, man. If you when you can get a chance, send that link on my Instagram. I'm check it out. Um, X <laughs> XRP XLM XDC. What what is the X? Is what does the X stand for? I don't know. Is X something? Crypto twenty. Yes, I like I said, crypto twenty four hours, man. That's gonna be the wave of the future because people who like trading are in love with crypto, man. I gotta hit Weebull at 4 a.m. Yeah. Long term emergency fund is to pay expenses if you lose your job for six months. Okay, Jay. Here's the thing about that. I know I'm catching up way late, but here's the thing about that. If I lose my job, my everything I <laughs> because of the investments I made in real estate, everything I make from my job is go straight to go straight to um stocks. I don't even I think I get hundred dollars a week off my check. I think a hundred dollars a week off my check goes to uh um goes to uh goes to without like me spending for the week a hundred dollars a week goes to me spending everything else goes to um investing so for me personally long term emergency fund it it wasn't really needed because the whole thing is this once if I was to lose my job of that I've been at for over eighteen years I've been almost eighteen years I've been at my job over eighteen years so if I was to lose my job I would definitely have still keep my pension but I will also have a nice little, you know, nine to 11 months of unemployment, in which time I would just do Uber. I, I mean, I would just or do just like either, I don't know, it, 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 I don't know. I wouldn't need the six to eight months. That's, I'm at the point now, I don't need the six to eight months uh, thing. It's best to invest it. Um, Fact, same here. Uh, I made 18, uh, I made in 18 months over 150 times. That's amazing. That is amazing. And we still have about six, nine months left in the bull market. The money is mostly made in the bear market, but this is when that's dope. That's dope. I'm gonna look, like I said, send me that link, man. That's what we got. Yeah. DJ Cobb, what's going on, man? That's their purpose to bring in interest. Yes, definitely. Invest in cheaper, cheaper. Coin. I heard that. I think I heard that on a Joe Button podcast, man. But yeah, like I said, I don't want to be too. I'm in, I'm in crypto. I'm in crypto. But I don't want to be all the way in crypto. I don't want. I don't want to allocate more than twenty percent in any section, except for real estate. 
I don't want to allocate 20% of my income into any section. So I still spread it out. Like every week I get paid. Like I said, I take a hundred, I get a hundred to myself that goes to my account and everything else goes, is broken up into each of my stocks and crypto. Um, Started crypto January 21 with 3K now it's about, woo, that's what it is, Jermaine Wilson. See, like this story right here about what Jermaine Wilson said, it's not as wild as the other stories, but it's cool. You started with 3K, now you're at 11K. That's a good come up. I'm not saying that you got to, that's what I'd rather do something like this than to try to take a big risk to do something like, oh my goodness, I invested 10,000 in Doge, Dogecoin and now I'm a millionaire. Because at the same token, I could have invested 10,000 and now I only have 3,000 left. And I, I, I don't want to take that risk. I, I, I'm the turtle. I'm the turtle that takes the slow and steady pace versus the rabbit or the hare that runs as fast as he can and gets tired. Um, through Coinbase. Oh, okay. Hey, Coinbase does charge me some money though. Like, here's another thing: Cash App doesn't charge me, and I could, I don't, I don't fully understand. That. I guess because it's crypto and stocks, Cash App doesn't charge me to invest in stocks. Coinbase charges me to invest in crypto, a nice little amount. Um, I put ten k into Coinbase. At what at what price though? Like because I remember it went it was at two seventy. Everybody thought it was gonna shoot up to four, and then it went down to two fifty. So I yeah I don't know. Are you learning technical and fundamentals analyst strategies? Um, no, I, I'm actually not. I'm not because I'm a long term investor. For me, it doesn't. For me, I don't have. I don't feel as though I I, I don't need to do that. And I probably should, Ingle, Mr. Inglewood. And over time, I might. But I'm a long term investor. I put it in. I let it sit. I don't even have to look at it. The only time, the only thing I do sometimes take money out is crypto because crypto was so volatile that it may jump up to like 65 and I take some money out and then it'll go down to 54 and I put the money back in. Um, I haven't really looked at the taxes yet because, you know, with the government going on these taxes, tax raids and stuff, I'm hoping I'll be able to write it off through my real estate, but we'll see. Um. So no, I haven't. I, I still, I still watch. Like I said, I watch everybody talk about it, but I don't get into that part yet. Um, Charles Swab, my fault. Char Whiskey, what's going on, man? Whiskey is very, in, uh, very uh, known about this stuff too. But Charles Swab is, is pretty good, also, except for the easy, the ease of 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 trading stocks for me is easier from my phone. If I can do it right from my phone, it's the easiest. And I don't think Charles Swab has a good. Phone trading app that that people mention that much. Um, Ethereum going to 10k easy. Yeah, I think so. I think so also. I think so also. If I could double my money and even even with even with the confidence that it will go to 10k, I still only put like five five in it. I just you know for me I'm still learning. I don't want to just jump in head first. You know what I mean, oh they do. Okay, whiskey. Um, and they give you ATM card. Oh no. I don't like having an ATM card. I don't want to um, have the chance to spend my money. Let's see. Coinbase is good. Robinhood. Good. Yo, man. Here's the thing about Robinhood, man. I don't understand. It's like Robinhood is like a woman. And I'm, I'm if, there's any, if there's any women here, my bad. Let's just say it's a, a lover. Robinhood is like a lover who has burnt you before, right? And yet... You you still keep going back to her because you know she burnt you once before, but it wasn't that bad, and you'll keep going back to her. But the next time she don't burn you, she she steal your money. Well, you know it's still not that bad, so you go back to her, and then the next time she shoots you, and that's what Robin Hood is in in my mind because people keep going back even though they keep doing some wild stuff, and um, I guess you know a person's gonna be a person. I wouldn't deal with it. I wouldn't do it. And I've never even invested in Robin Hood, but I'm not I'm not doing that. Coinbase is successful because people are into crypto. You might as well invest in crypto instead of the company. Yes, whiskey. I, I, that's how I felt. I felt like I have a bigger um chance of of making more money if I invest directly into crypto. Cause some people don't even like some people don't like um investing into crypto. Um because and so they'll invest into something like Tesla, because Tesla invests into crypto. No, I want to be a directly into it. I still invest in Tesla, but I want to be directly into crypto. Um, I've I've let a hey, C spill. You said this the other day, 
and I actually looked it up. Um, I don't recall. I don't know. I don't even know what this is. But I looked it up, and 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 I don't recall what um how it was doing. But it didn't look like it had a lot of volatility where I can possibly make a lot of money. It, it looked like it was at the highest point, I believe, that it's been in like a couple a while. But it, it was going up and down, up and down. So, but I don't even know what it was. I just remember I looked at the uh, stock symbol. How do you get started? All right, Ocho. The first thing you would do is to make if the first thing you would do, and right now is the best time because everything is red. Everything right now is red from today. People got hit hard today. So the best thing you would do is find out what you like to do. Like me personally, I fly all the time. I go places. So when I wanted to pick an airline, I said, out of all the airlines, what airline do I think is going to be around the most? most? JetBlue. Okay, so I'm going to invest in JetBlue because I feel comfortable about it. I look at JetBlue stock, make sure everything is everything. I invest in that. So just invest in what you know or what you use. So if you wear Nike, maybe invest some money in Nike. And it don't have to be a lot of money. You invest $100. You watch how it goes. Give it some time limit. If it hits below a certain rate, take it out. If it goes above a certain rate, take it out. Like, just just test yourself. And then when you get comfortable, you move on to more money and different and more stocks. Wow, how did I miss so much stuff? Oh, my fault, y'all. I, I didn't know I was moving fast enough. Coinbase is getting straight down on the IPO date. Happens every IPO stock. Venture capitalists and angel investors, nice cash out that day. Yeah, I, I don't like I said, I, like I said I don't invest in too much stuff I don't know. But and I, even though I don't know what Bitcoin, I just I just felt like it was a better investment. But I, I don't I don't know how people invest in the Coinbase because it's like Coinbase could be like Ethereum, where it's the wave of the future that everybody's gonna be connected. Everybody's gonna want to do crypto in the future because crypto is the wave of the future. You could trade at all times of the day. So crypto is gonna be our stocks eventually. And Coinbase is the one that you, is the easiest convenience to trade crypto. So I can see the logistics in it going up. I can see the logistics in it going up. It just right now, I don't know. I don't know. Ethereum Classic is backed by silver. Mm. I don't know too much about Ethereum Classic, but I do know it. I know I know the difference of Ether, ETC and ETH. And you went with ETC. My like I said, my friends, my friend invested in ETC. I, I like ETH, man. ETC might be might be the next Dodge coin, but <laughs> make a little Uzi coin. <laughs> I've been in crypto since 2017. That's crazy. My portfolio, let's say, is large on IGs under the same name. Yeah, that, that that's that's crazy. See, like I say, do some people got faith in this stuff? Like I'm learning to have faith in it now because there's other bigger companies. Like the more bigger companies that invest in it, like you see Elon investing in crypto. You see um, JP Morgan investing in crypto. You see uh, Cash App opening the crypto. The more people that invest in crypto, crypto, the more confidence it gives me to put more money into crypto. In 2017, you had to be really, really down with investing in crypto to really do it because there wasn't that many people investing in it. And I think it had just went down, right? Like Bitcoin had just went down. Yeah. All right, what's going on, man? Hey, it's, it's okay. So we got about 12 more minutes before we can cancel the screen. Finish the stream. Um, I need to learn how to make cover calls. See, it's got to be some. It's ninety. Look, it's ninety six people in this room. It's ninety six people in this room right now. Somebody on this list, and you can point yourself out right now, knows how to make cover calls. Somebody in this list knows how to do options. Somebody in, in this list knows how to um how to do a lot of stuff. And there's a lot of stuff I don't know how to do. But this is for this form is for people that, that want to learn because a lot of us, we just want to learn. And I can give you some ideas of people you should follow. Check out Meet Kevin. Check out um, Graham Stephan. Check out uh, uh, Earn Your Leisure. Check out um, I like just people that I, I, I've seen on YouTube do it. You got a lot of people you can check out, man, if you want to get more details about it. I'm just showing you guys this out there, and then you can go in detail. It's kind of like traveling for me. Like, I travel. Everybody knows I travel. I go to many different countries. I go to many different uh, states in the United States. I may give you a, a guide to that place, but then if you want more details, I tell you, okay, you, you want to know more about Colombia? Go to Ace Live. You want to know more about the Dominican Republic? Go to Telemay. Go to Flip Flop. You want to know more about Brazil? Go to um, Brazil Adai. Go to J. Clyde. I'll point to you who to go to. I'm introduce I just want to introduce people to it. 
just like when I grew up in the hood. I just want to show people there's another way. If you want to learn more about that way, I'll point you to those people and I'll show you who can tell you what. Um, Reads have many stipulations. That too. That too. Um, I haven't visited Southern California yet. I have family in Vallejo. Shout out to my cousin. I'm actually, actually, I'm going down to Miami on Wednesday. My cousin from Vallejo is in Miami. I'm going to link up with him. I'm probably going to make some videos out there with him on Wednesday because that's his last night there. But I have cousins in um, Oakland, Vallejo, and um, Fairfax. But I haven't been to Southern Cali yet, and I haven't been to LAX. I'm 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 want to go there, but I'm waiting to get back to normal so I can actually do some stuff while I'm there. Um, you have a fine. You have to find. Yes, yes, that's a good. That's a good fact. Um, cut grass is <laughs> cutting grass is the best way to make money this summer. Yes, yeah. If you have a lawnmower. And you have money for gas for the lawnmower. Still got to start. In anything, any business you start, you need an investment. That's why I said I stopped saving money. It doesn't. I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to say this. If you're saving in 2021, you're playing a losing game. Because the government doesn't want you to save. The the uh, stock market. The, nobody, the, nobody wants you to save. Nobody wants you to save. And, and they're going to do whatever it is. They're going to do whatever it is to take you off. Whether raise inflation, whether print all this money so your money's worth less to stop you from saving or to make it not worth it. Um, hey, Corey, maybe you can answer Ozzy with that one. The women, <laughs> uh, cheaper sex. <laughs> uh, what's going on, Jay Ski? You from Bergenfield? Now I'm from North New Jersey. By way of, I mean, North New Jersey, East Orange, Irvington. And those are places I've, I've grown up when I was a kid, young enough. Those three places, mostly North, though. Um, all right, let me see. Itinerary Valley. I own a condo on Cabaretti Road. Oh, Cabaret Road. It stays booked during COVID. Uh, where is that? Is that in DR? Or is that is, is that in DR? Cabaret Road. I'm not sure where that's at. I love you. All right, dope, dope, Corey. I've been losing on XRP lately. Just got to stay in it. Yeah, that, that's the whole thing, man. You gotta you gotta be patient and you gotta know the risks. That's why I say you gotta have a high risk tolerance. Because like today, today for anybody, I don't care what you invested in. You invest in XRP. You invest in stock. You invest in crypto. For some reason, today everything went red. It's like usually they have something called a rotation, right? When some things go red, other things go green, which means that people are taking their money out of one place and putting it in another place. That's the only time people do it. But today, no, today, bro, listen, I brought Tesla when it was like 15% down, and it went another 5% down today. So I was like, yo, what the hell? So, yeah, like, listen, man, you just got to have patience, and you got to stay in it, man. Like, this is a five, this is at least a seven-year plan, because by seven years, I'm going to take it out, and I'm going to either get this place in Mexico if I don't get it by then, or I'm going to um just reinvest it into something else. But, um, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, let's see. Can I hit you up on realtors in Florida? Yeah, I can give you. Um, I know two realtors in Florida. The one I use, and and um, the another one I connected with. I know two realtors in Florida, and the realtors can definitely put you in connections with um, the people that give you the um funding. Like I said, shout out to Diana Kaye in Florida because she's the one I purchased my Miami condo with, and I lost funding through my job. My job said, oh, yeah, we're going to give you funding. You've been working here 18 years. You have this. You have 60. You have 30 percent that you, you need the 30 percent you need down. Because in Miami, if you want a condo, you got to put 30 percent down sometimes because they don't have a reserve. So you got the 30 percent down you want for the condo. We're going to get you it. And then they stuck me in the middle of closing. My my company disappeared. And Diana Kaye, she um she helped me get that place. So I can definitely give you that information. Um, I don't want to put her number on the on the on the web page because I don't want people calling her for nothing. But yeah, um, there there is a sell on crypto. Yeah, listen, a lot of people right now they're saying they wish they had more money to buy in. I have more money to buy in, but I want to see if we get another red day tomorrow and if we get another red day the following day because I don't want to buy in and then it go down again and then down again. So I'm just gonna wait till I see that first green day. And I'm going to buy on that first green day. The reason why is because even if it go red the next day, it's going to probably go green the following day. Um, 
I lost a lot on XRP, bro, at 193, but I heard should be be the future. Okay, like I said, see, there's other people in here. Somebody else was saying XRP, so there's other people in here that uh, do XRP. I'm gonna look into it, but I, I the Shizuba now. Nah. I the Shizuba is the Shizuki. I can't even pronounce that right, but I know uh, Joe Button had the guy explain it on his on his podcast, and that was one thing that really got me into crypto too. Uh, I forgot the guy's name, uh, but they explained it on his podcast very well. And I was like, okay. So, yeah, I understand how crypto works. They're up like 40% for the month. Wow. But, see, that's like that's like back when they used to invest in penny stocks, man. You ever heard that, like, the, the big short, like the, that movie with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio where everybody invested in penny stocks, and if it went up a little bit, you made a lot? Yeah, you know, still kind of gambling. Ozzy the Bull Cycle. Exactly. Exactly. Um, let's see how many people I got left. Use Coinbase Pro, it has less fees. What is that a monthly charge or something? I gotta see. I gotta see because I do invest monthly. I do invest every week. Like I said, I got money gets going into Coinbase, so it might be worth it if, if, if it's less fees. Um, they charge you, it just don't show up front. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I Robin Hood is like that too, man. Like I said, I you know, it's crazy. Yeah, I think so too, man. I be seeing that too. Like I see the price at one price. When I click it, it'll be higher. I'm like, oh no, you got it for fifty, and they might still sell it for that price. But the charge on overflow, yes, Capricorn way, yes, definitely. And crypto, they state the fees up front. Yeah, yeah, they do. They be like hundred dollars, go sixty dollars. I'm like, yeah. A sleepy man running the country. So sad. It's just all gonna slip away. Listen, man. This is one thing I don't do. For those that don't know, that just come to the channel, people don't know. I don't, I don't support Republicans. I don't support Democrats. I don't support independent. I don't support anybody that wouldn't be in charge of anybody else. If you want to help somebody else, it's cool. But I just try to find out what is going to be the best investment to go with for this people. And right now, it looks like it's leaning towards electric vehicles and Tesla and everything like that. Even regardless of what the short term stuff is at. Because of what the president said in his last messages, I feel as though Tesla's going to go up, Amazon's going to go up, Facebook's going to go up, and right now it's just people just taking money out because they're so scared of these taxes that's supposed to be coming. Um, give me my give me cools if I rifle with Trump twenty twenty still. <laughs> Listen, like I said, I don't I don't even care, man. Like I don't care who's who's with what, and the Democrats go away to all cheating fraud, but I think everybody does. It. I think both of them. See, here's the one thing I think is going to make a make a big difference, though. When Trump was in office, it was a lot about black and white. It was a lot about races, and that 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 that's what they kind of want. I think what what they messed up is that because with Biden in office, it's going to be about rich and poor. And I think when the rich and poor category comes up, it's going to be a lot of stuff is going to change because of that, because of the fact that and and you know it's going to make it harder. For some, but some people will still find a way. Um, wow, come on, y'all. All right. Oh, shoot. I'm out of this thing's in the way. I don't know. Um, I like the fact that you guys are sharing comments in the room. You guys can communicate with each other in the room, man. I need a brewski, some thick cigars, or oh, he's running the country. Something wrong with Biden. Listen, man. I, like I said, once again, I just go with whatever the new process is. Like I knew, I knew when Trump was in office, I'm gonna get a lot of stuff off I can't get off normally. Now I know when Biden's in office, I'm gonna get stuff, I'm gonna get stuff off a different way. To me, it don't even matter. It's just I need to know what to do. And right now, I know for a fact that saving money ain't it. It definitely ain't it. Um, especially with all the money printing, you gotta if for those that don't know, check this out. I'm going to talk like just like nobody knows anything. So forgive me if you're way smarter than me and more, more intelligent on this subject. If you have a dollar, right, and the world has $100, and then they print out $200, that dollar you have is not going to be worth the same value it was when there's 100 And right now, they are printing. I mean, 30 to 40% of the United States currency that's out in the world was printed last year. Now, yes, inflation might be small, it might go and come away, but you got to know in the future that's going to cause some kind of issue. 
even if you don't believe it's the right thing or the wrong thing to do, we're not talking about right and wrong. We're just talking about logical. Logically, if I print more money, that means that the money that's currently here is going to be worth less. doesn't matter when it's going to be worth less. So the only way I can make money is if I find something to invest in. Because if I'm saving, I'm losing. I agree, but 2024, we will win the away and leave alone. Uh, beers, five hot ladies, tarot card, Wendy Williams, just some <laughs> guys are crazy. Um, I have no comments on the Trump thing. Um, oh, it's funny to see Trump win again. I missed 20. Let's see, let's see. Uh, everybody catching. I don't know. Like, this she, this she, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I'm gonna look into it. Hey, I, I tell everybody this. Look. I'm not going to say no to anything. I'm going to look into it. Send it to me on my Instagram with the uh, stock the stock uh, ticker is so that I can go and later on I can look at it. Um, Just send me the stock ticker, man. Jose, what's going on, man? Too much Trump deep. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Listen, I, I let everybody speak their mind because, hey, nobody's right and nobody's wrong. It's all perception. It's just I, you got you to gotta think logically when it comes to financing because finances is, is everything, man. Um, watch the come up series to learn how to do call options. Yeah, I I never really wanted to do options because I don't like the risk in options. Yes, you can make a lot of money, but you can also go into debt a lot of money. And I I built to I like I said I'm the, I'm the turtle that moves slow. I rather invest my own money and the most I can lose is whatever I put in. But options is a big way to, to do it too, man. Um, let's see, real estate is the way to go. You got a nice uh, thanks, man. Appreciate it, Byron. Um. For me, it's like this. I told him in the beginning, once you get your place to real estate where you got it to the point where you have tenants and you're not paying anything on it, nothing else in the world matters. Everybody tells you, oh, you should invest in stocks. You should save your money. But as long as you're paying rent, you're always going to have to come. Unless your rent is small, you're going to always have to come out of pocket. You're going to always have to come out of pocket. At the point when you stop paying rent is your first step to freedom. PayPal, Walmart, ah, I had to choose. See, crypto, I had to choose. I said, do I want to invest in a bank, Square, PayPal, or Walmart? Now, I'm a believer in PayPal, but the convenience of Cash App is easier than PayPal. The convenience of a bank, and when I, when it came to Walmart, I was like, either Amazon or Walmart. I wasn't going to choose them both. I was only going to do one or the other, and Amazon beat out Walmart by far. So I went with Cash App and Amazon versus PayPal and Walmart. Um, when the fly boy wake quick coming out, man. Listen, I don't know, man. I might make one of them NFTs everybody talking about. <laughs> oh man, what's going on, Cody Christoph? Cover calls when you provide the stock that people need for their options. Okay, you cover the call. Okay, you're basically hoping that they lose the option contract so you earn the premium. That's tough, man. That's tough. I think the one, if you're gonna do that, you gotta really you gotta really think about it. Fly boy, you need to invest in apps. Are you talking about the uh, like the coin? We just talked about the Coinbase app. I don't know, man. Like I said, I I don't know how that works. I'm still learning. I'm just learning crypto, and I'm just starting to understand stocks. So to go and do something that I just have no clue on, I gotta hold off on it for a little bit, man. I gotta hold off for a little bit. Real estate properties, nice, nice. The single family things, I, it was a little bit tougher for me to to get into, man. Roller got. M tape. <laughs> Dodge going to the moon. I see you. Oh, I'm missing so I got it. Listen, we got we over time, so I gotta I gotta I gotta breeze through these guys, these stuff right now, man. I gotta breeze through stuff real quick. Let me see. I got that one already. Oh, they got that one already. Got that one already. If I skipped you, my fault. I think here. If I skipped you, my fault, I gotta I gotta breeze through it. Uh, I gotta put my son to sleep. Um Guy, there we go. Let's see. Let's see. Got that one. Crypto facts. What's going on, Shannon? Be more in the house. Uh, I have emergency funds. And it, see, anonymous gets the point. Anonymous gets the point. This is why I told everybody you don't, you shouldn't, not you shouldn't. I don't. Not say you shouldn't. I'm not an investor. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't have long term emergency funds. I do have short term emergency funds because I own real estate. And sometimes I got to go fix something and get something done immediately. But long term, yeah. I don't know about AT&T though, man. I don't know about A&T. Because I started watching A&T at one point, but 
I didn't like how it was moving. There would be no middle class, only poor and rich. Hey, see, crypto, I think we're leaning towards that. And that's the reason why I said they're going to kind of mess up. Because if that's the way it's going, and the fact that we have a president in office who is literally going to make it to be no longer black versus white or Spanish or immigrants versus natural born citizens, but it's then going to be about rich and poor, when they destroy the middle class, it's going to be crazy. And, and the thing is that if you, look, if, you learn, if you learn what happened in Colombia, right, I'm, I'm, I hope I'm not speaking too bad about this. So in my Colombian, you guys, I, this is my opinion. It's not a fact. This is my opinion. The reason why things could be happening in Colombia the way they are could be partially, and I know there's other stuff to it, but partially because the police are what separates the rich from the poor. I feel as though that's the same way in the United States, but I feel as though in Colombia it's going to extreme. So when the rich want something to be done, then the poor has a problem against it or the middle class has a problem against it. The rich never has to fight with the poor. They just throw the police out there and make the police do all this stuff. That's why it's like, I think police are not here for everybody. I think police are, are here to prevent or was created or rather created to prevent the poor and the middle class from overtaking the rich. I think that's the borderline of them, the police and the military. They're, they're, that, that's just the borderline of the concept of what, what it was, was here for. This is my opinion. Just my opinion. I know I might sound like a conspiracy theorist and all that. I'm not. Don't really care. Just opinion. Um, T dot. Let me see. Jay Brash says, keep some cash set aside tickets. Yes, yes. That's um, I got some cash set aside for that. That's that I do, I do, but that cash is going in. That's why I don't want to put it all in on this first dip. I don't want to put it all in on this first red day. I'm gonna give it some more time to see if I can get a couple more uh down days down. Port of Plata Sassu. Okay, 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 Shannon Brown. Yeah, like I said, for me on the island, I didn't want to do it, but honestly, having something anywhere outside of the United States is better than not to me. But I just didn't want to do it on the island. Especially the way DR is in certain parts. Um, true, you really have to manage money. And it's facts. And they don't teach you how to manage money in school. This is also, see, this is something, the, the reason why things are going like this is because we can learn this stuff on YouTube now. They didn't teach none of this in school. So all the kids that are young now, they can learn this stuff on YouTube and they're going to be way wiser than us growing up, man. They're going to be way wiser than us. Oh, Cabaretti, that's what it is. Okay. You can never time the market. Yep, it's always about timing the market, not timing the market. Crypto has always been that way. Let me see. Shannon Brown. Okay. Black Hand, what's going on, man? Roll the goddamn tape, man. Uh, listen, if you guys haven't subscribed to Roll the Tape channel, you should, man. He got some definitely some great issues, uh, some uh good context. I wanted to see that one with the uh I gotta go back and watch that one with the uh Kevin Samuels versus uh Dr. Umar. That's something I wouldn't talk about because I don't really care enough about it. But it's definitely interesting to have a good conversation about it. Um, there's a printing money that's going on into crypto wealth transfer. Yes, HD chilling. What's going on, man? Yes, yes, a hundred percent HD, a hundred percent. Dodge coin to the moon. Listen, some people are still saying that even though Dodge coin went down, they're saying it might jump jump back up because crypto is the wave. I just need more backing, man. I need more backing. Yeah, Jeremy Lay. What's going on, man? Yeah, we, we actually over the time now. I'm just getting to the comments. And then we're going to end this. We're going to end this live. I appreciate everybody coming in. We're going to uh, end this live when I get to the end of the comments. Why? Oh, why am I not saving? I'm not in saving because everything is going to investing. I, uh, basically, to summarize it, I stopped saving because the United States doesn't want you to save. The government doesn't want you to save. Uh, it's not beneficial for you to save because... Everything is going, everything that you earn is going, like, with all the money printing, the value is going to go down. The money you can make off your money in a savings account, even in a, a money market account or high interest savings account, is pennies compared to what you can make just putting your money in any random three stocks in the stock market. Throw it in any random three stocks, and a year from now, you'll have almost triple, if not 10 times, the amount of returning your interest as you would if you just left it in a check in a savings account or high interest account. That's why I'm not saving anymore. And everything in my check, except for $100, I keep $100 so I can get through the week. Everything else goes to um, investing now. Trump and logic. <laughs> RC pilot, crazy. 
real estate is the best. Like I said, real estate is to get you started. Real estate is basically to stop you from having to uh, live check to check. Let me see. Let me see. All right, let's go. All right, we almost. Are we almost ending? I see. The end. I see the end of the list. All right, we're going to end it. Okay, so basically, you, you're saying you aren't saving. So basically, you aren't saving. You're just investing. Correct. Correct. Nothing. Nothing goes into my savings account, man. Let me tell you how easy. I tell you again. It goes straight from my check at work to my checking account. Then I have an automatic deduction that goes straight to stocks, and then I get to keep a hundred to spend for the week. Now. I do have a cash flow because I have cash flow in real estate. So I have cash flow if it's if it's something I want to go out and buy or if I want to book a flight to Florida or Miami to or to somewhere, I can do that through my real estate. But everything is straight. Nothing go to savings. Nothing. Um, hold, hold, hold. <laughs> um, also try Cozy for collecting rent. Uh, I like Cash App and Zelle. Zelle is pretty good too. Better than Cash App, I heard you say. You can even do word orders. Yeah, I, I, you know, I mean, for me, it's 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 about the convenience. Like I I have college students in, in, in one of my houses, and the other I have some uh, millennials, and I have a family downstairs, and they're kind of young too. So everybody understands certain things that their bank has, like Zelle and Cash App. You know, certain things I don't want to introduce them to something new and then something mess up. How often am I in Miami? All right, my son lives with me during during the um school year. So during the school year. He's here every every day. After I pick him up from his mother's house after I drop him off to school in the morning. Um, so I go to Miami every other weekend if I can. You know what I mean? Because I, I got my daughter too, but my daughter, she I can go see her any I can go see her anytime. She's she's 14. She's about to be 14 now, so she don't really want to be all at how she was before, but um with like all hanging out with me all the time. But um every other weekend I go to Miami at least twice a month. Uh so far, um, sports car outpacing everything. Pending Michael Jordan, I heard it. I heard it. It's so much stuff, man. It's so much stuff. People, you know, got money into. But the only thing I feel as though, the only thing I feel as though will stay around after the money printing stops or when it slows down is crypto. I think crypto will be what stays around after the money printing stops. I think, um, I think NFT is going to go away. I think people investing in these these very very not smart stocks will go away, but um, but yeah, yeah. Let's see. Uh, I don't know, but uh, Milano the Travel Boy, what's going on, Milano? Yo, shout out to Milano the Travel Boy. Make sure you subscribe to his channel too. We got some great content. Now, I mean, where you at now? I mean, you in DR? You in you in the Brazil? Where you at, man? Um, but E Trade. I heard each was good, but it's just the convenience of, of everything from your phone of every other app right now. Um, <laughs> I don't want to call nobody a fool, but it's a foolish thing to put any money into savings right now, man. It's just so foolish right now because, yo, it's crazy. I've never, I mean, I'm so happy that whatever happened woke me up to realize to not to not be like. Like I said, once again, for those 87 people that might not have been here earlier. I'm from North New Jersey. I'm from the hood. My family didn't have a bunch of money. I didn't grow up with a silver spoon. So back in the day when I used to save money, I used to be like, yo, look at this. I got I got stacks of money in my hand. It was cool. That's why I don't judge when I see these kids with all this money in their hand, flashing the money. I don't judge them because I remember going through that stage. And then I went from that stage to having, yo, I got like 30000 in the, in my bank account. I just look, let me just look at it. Let me just look at it. I'm opening up. I'm I'm opening up my, my account every time, like 30,000, 30,000. So I don't knock people at that stage either. But now I'm at the point where, like, yo, listen, I can make this money grow faster if I just don't put it in there. And so I I, said, I don't knock people for that. When people had the money phones, never knocked them for it because I'm from that ilk. I understand that process. I understand not having nothing and want to make it look and make it make you want the little that you do have wanting to show it out. So I don't knock them for it. But I'm at the point now at 36. Where I'm like, oh, no, 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 this is what I'm doing because it's not. I don't, I don't need to see that money in my account. Just let me know I got to invest it. Do you need a license to get into real estate? No, you don't. You don't need. And a lot of people say, oh, you should get your license anyway. But I took real estate classes. I took school and I passed. I passed the class. But then to take the exam, it's like thirteen hundred dollars. Didn't make any sense. If I'm not going to sell real estate, thirteen hundred dollars and to keep your license every year costs money. So yeah, it don't. It don't. It's not really worth it if you want to be an investor. You just want to buy property. 
Um, what do you think about Vanguard? I have my 401k in Vanguard because I, I work with uh, FedEx and they have it through Vanguard. Vanguard is awesome, man. I don't think Vanguard is good for stock trading because I don't do it. But um, for, for 401k, for long-term uh, mutual funds and ETFs, Vanguard is probably the best. It's probably the best. But if you want to like invest in individual stocks, maybe not. Bitcoin, Ethereum, DOT, Kuzma, and then more Ethereum. <laughs> Yo, I don't know about Dot and Kuzma, but I'm with you. I'm with you, Kason. I'm with you, King. Um, I might need to look into getting these cheap houses in North Carolina for 30, 40. Bro, if you can get yo, North Carolina is going to be undercard of the biggest growing uh thing there is. It's gonna be the biggest one growing that there is, man. Right now, it's gonna be the biggest growing that there is because when I when when I was talking to realtors all over, everyone says North Carolina is going to be the wave of the future as far as everybody moving from different places because it's the most bang for your buck. In other words, you can buy something for like 30 and then like a year from now, it's going to be worth 50. Um, Jarvis, what's going on, man? Hey, yo, listen, I get inspired by other people too, so I'm just trying to share the wealth, man. Justin, what's going on, man? Put it in the garbage. What do you think about sports betting? Uh, I think my boy, everybody, I, all my boys, they sports bet. Like my boys are gamblers, so they sports bet. They bet on these guys bet on everything from hockey to baseball to basketball. DraftKings is everything. Um, but uh, I wouldn't do it because I don't like gambling. I don't like gambling, and I don't know sports. I don't know sports good enough to to not call it a gamble. I don't know sports good enough. So yeah. Um, but Mex, but oh, always bet on Westbrook though. Always bet on Westbrook. Um. But Mexicans and Asians save their money successfully, especially in their businesses. Uh, not necessarily. Here's the thing about Mexican. I don't know. About, I'm not Mexican, so I don't know. Here's the thing I think about Mexicans and Asians. Mexicans and Asians don't save their money. They put their money in a pot to go to uh, buying a business. So it's like, let's, I don't, I don't, I'm pretty sure they invest too. Actually, I don't know what Mexican, I, let me not speak on Mexican Asians because I don't know. But I know a lot of them buy businesses because. Here's the thing. As United States citizens, we were never taught most of the stuff that other immigrant immigrants from other I mean, other people from other places around the world were taught. So it doesn't matter if you're black. It doesn't matter if you're Spanish. It doesn't matter if you're white. Our school system is not teaching us to be these entrepreneurial people that are coming into the country. So we, even though we are the land of opportunity, we don't know this because we were never taught this unless you went to an expensive school. So that's why Asians and Mexicans can come from their homes to the United States and build these huge businesses and other people can because our education system doesn't make us into these people. Oh, shoot. Have you not seen my videos, Ozzy? Have you not seen the videos? It's tough, man. I'm going to, listen, I'm not one of them pre, and I know I'm answering a couple questions because we got 92 people in the room, but I'm not one of the people that don't that go against that. I'm not an anti-vaxxer, but I do want to wait some time. I want to give it two or three years before I get a, vac a vaccination, because to me, I don't want to find out a year from now that people who got vaccinated can't have more kids. I don't want to find out a year from now that if you got vaccinated and you got asthma, it can cause you to have multiple um, issues in the future. I don't want to hear from now that if you were blood type O uh, two years from now, after everything is there, if you blood type O and you got vaccinated, you can get a uh, blood clots. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to give it some time. I'm going to give it some time. Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's possible, but still, man. Yeah, definitely not, man. Definitely not. I, I'm definitely. Yo, make sure you guys. I we're gonna end this in like. Let me see. We're gonna end this in two minutes, and I want everybody after the two minutes to go down and check out Roller Tape video, man, on his channel, man. Make sure you go check out. We're gonna end this in two minutes because we almost at the end. We had to, we got five more people that left comments, so we're gonna end this in two minutes. And then after the two minutes, everybody go to roll the tape, check his video out, and hit the like button. Definitely, I want at least at least we got ninety people. At least twenty people do. At least twenty to forty people do it and get to get a like button on his on his channel. Um, Greensboro, okay, Mexican agent pool their money together. Yes, CRC pilot, but see this is this what I'm saying as. <clears throat> as young Americans, mostly black though, mo but as young Americans, we were never taught this in school how to pool our money together. Secondly, it's hard for black people. I'm going to say I'm a black person. It's hard for me as a black person to trust another black person because all black people ain't for black people. So 
I would presume that it's the same way with other cultures, but it's not. Other cultures are are are, are more ready to pull. So that that's that's another reason why too. Also, um, okay, okay, immigrants get bring, that too, and and that too, phenom, that too. Um, Malcolm Grant, what's going on, man? You know, you know, it's somebody else speaking of sports betting. This guy got a this guy Malcolm Grant. He got a channel, man. He's pretty good with sports betting, yo. He's I, I can't you know. I can't say anybody's ever hundred percent, but he's up there in like the seventy to eighty percent of the time, correct? If not, if not higher. Um, yeah, my oh man, listen, Miami different, man. Oh, all through, all through Miami, all through Miami. Um, nice, nice. Listen, I want to start going back and forth to Mexico to apply the karma so I can check out the area for this place, man. That's my next move. But all right, everybody, we got to the end of the list, yo. I pre uh, J Cloud, what's going on? Salute. Uh, make sure you send silence to J Cloud too. We got some dope videos in Brazil. Man. I, I do want to get back to Brazil because Brazil is one of the places that's kind of open still and having fun. So my, my 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 homie King James is working on getting something to Brazil for him. But I might in the future go there too. But um um Angel, what's going on, man? What's going on, Angel? Oh uh, all right. So I want to say um thanks everybody for tuning in. It's your boy F R E dollar sign H Fresh at the Flyboy Way. That's T H E. F L Y B O Y W A Y. Don't ask why to check out the channel. And I'll see you on the next Money Talk Mondays. Peace.